just how many years does plastic surgery really take off your face? Details from a new study, plus a look at famous celebrity examples. Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. How many years can plastic surgery really take off of your face? Well, for the first time, a study aims to answer that question. We are joined this morning by board-certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Vince Marin, to answer questions about this study. Okay, so tell us if you would a little bit about what, what we found out from this study. So it's a study that was performed in Toronto, and it's based on facial plastic surgery. So what they looked at is objectively trying to find out how many years does it look like plastic surgery will actually take off your face. We know it makes you younger. They're trying to come up with numbers to determine, you know, how much does each procedure actually make you look younger. And were they able to give some hard and fast numbers? Yeah, for what they found, they looked at three different types of procedures, a face and neck lift, a face and neck lift with the eyes being done, and a face, neck, eyes, and the brow. They found a range. The face and neck was about six years that it made you look younger, and then the face, eyes, neck, brow made you almost nine years younger, at least objectively. They looked at a series of pictures of before and afters, and they had students, medical students at the time, 30 of them, rate these, and they found that it really took, you know, probably about nine years off your age in terms of someone objectively making that determination. Interesting. So, yeah. All right, so we have some celebrity pictures to look at and sort of comp compare through the years. We're going to start first with Madonna. Madonna, yeah. Madonna, this, this actually looks a lot like, um, Kelly Osborne to me. Right it kind of does, doesn't it? doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's funny. Like when you look at Madonna, one of the biggest changes you can see is that she has some fullness or lack of fullness in the cheek that she has when she's younger. And when you look at her after, that she's really got some enhanced fullness in the cheek. She's got more of a pretty curve. She has kind of hollowed out here a little bit below. But when you look at her, she kind of has more of a, of a prettier shape to her face. And the reason it's probably better later is the fact that she may have had something done to kind of change that. It's unlikely. Or a couple of things Well, done. perhaps. Yeah, I think <laughs> many, she, many she, things she, <laughs> she has a number of, uh, of access points, I think, to, uh, to the beauty uh, regimen. So I think, yeah, she's probably had a series of things. And the reason it's hard to tell is that she's probably had a small series of things over a long period of time that have made it more natural. So I think she's had a nice result. She definitely even almost looks younger probably, you know, 15, 20 years uh, uh, later in these two pictures. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and look at uh, Jennifer Lopez's picture. Okay, so what do you think's going on here? Well, you know, she's just a beautiful woman, I think, when it comes down to it. She's a lady who, she's in her, I think, early 40s, and if you look at her face, she could easily pass for her early 20s. She's a beautiful woman, but the I think the beauty of what's been done here is that she hasn't overdone anything. I think she's done the appropriate steps to maintain her beauty, be somewhat age-appropriate in the sense that it's not that she's trying to look too young. She just looks glamorous and beautiful. I think whoever's taking care of her is doing a very good job. Doing a real, her people yeah. are doing a good job. I think there's some genetics in there as well. So. <laughs> All right, let's pop up the picture of uh, supermodel Christy Brinkley. Yeah, Christy Brinkley, uh, when you look at her, I think she's in her 60s. Uh, yeah, and she, so could, she could easily pass for a woman in her early 40s, uh, you know, almost even younger. She's another one who I think genetic, she has some beautiful uh, uh, features. A lot of it's kind of just her genetics as well as also doing these things in a, in a classy and age appropriate way. And I think when you look at kind of all the, the issues she has, she still has that full cheek, full lips, nice even jawline, all the things that make her look youthful. And she's really just, uh, you know, she looks probably better than any celebrity out there for her age. Yeah, she does. And yeah. it's still a killer body too. Yeah, I don't know how she does that. She's so, amazing. Yeah. Okay, let's look at uh, the next picture. Diane Keaton. And the Diane's probably not there. Uh, <laughs> Diane, it's, uh, I guess, uh, oh, there's Christy again. But, uh, but Diane, I think, is one of those ladies who, when you look at her pictures, she she probably could use a little bit of, of some kind of subtle enhancement. She still has fine lines. She's, she's in her 60s as well, but she looks great. But I think when it comes down to it, it's, you know, realistically, she could probably benefit from having some small procedures done. Do you think she's had anything done? It's or hard no? to tell with her. She may, she, she may have had some things, but she hasn't had too much for sure. But I think she's one of those ladies that could benefit and would actually look better by having a little bit more work done. Uh, it could take a few years off her, and uh, but she seemed to 
be done well in Hollywood, she still gets roles. So, uh, you yeah, know, I guess it's not hurting her. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. She always wears those gloves, too. Do you notice yeah, that? You know, the funniest thing is, is women, and we see this all the time, women take care of their face. They understand that that's a big area. The hands are the dead giveaway. <laughs> so maybe she's, she she knows what, what she's doing. Yeah, maybe that, she's really 90 and she covers That in the chest. <laughs> absolutely right. Yeah, who knows? Maybe she may look good for her age. All so. right, I think we have the next picture to go ahead and, and pop up here. Uh, Melanie Griffith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can see that, you know, she's kind of done some of the things we'd see in Madonna's that where she's got that fullness, but she just looks overdone. She's prettier, though, than this pic. This is a particularly not it, great I think that one, <laughs> you know, it, it enhancing the, all the things that went wrong. You know, beautiful girl. I make that face when Raul whistles <laughs> in close proximity to me right now. Okay, keep going. <laughs> but, you know, to her, to her benefit, you're right. She is more beautiful than what this is showing. However, I think it's one of those that, that she's just taking it too far, and I don't, I don't know how, whether she's in her 40s or 50s, but when you look at, at how she's changed over the years, she just looks done, and I think mm -hmm. that's the problem. When you look at the Christy Brinkley, you look at Jennifer Lopez, they don't see anything that's been done. She just looks like she's had too much work. Well, in this picture, I mean, she looks like she's like eight right yeah, there. Yeah, I, I know. If you yeah. just pop that up, I wouldn't you, know. You wouldn't who see that the was. same woman. I would have yeah, no idea. and that's the one other issue. You want post-operative patients to still resemble themselves. Sure. We're not trying to change. And these look like different people to me, which yeah. is where you can kind of feel like it's gone too far. All right, let's look at the next picture. Uh, Lindsay Lowen. It should be next. Oh, and, yeah. Okay. And you know, Lindsay. Lindsay, I think, is in her mid twenties, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, she just looks like she's you know mid 30s at least and someone that youthful should carry a lot more kind of brightness to their appearance mm -hmm. and she's just kind of lost it i know this picture probably isn't doing her justice to some degree but you know her lips are probably overly full and she just looks kind of worn for her age you know lindsay has been in the news for a lot of different things but it shows you how taking care of yourself not just from a plastic surgery or skin care but just how you live your life can do a lot on the 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 brilliance of your skin and how you kind of look. So I think, you know, she's she's pushed herself perhaps too hard and, and she's starting to show it in her face. Lastly, Olivia Newton, we're going to pop her picture up. We just have about 30 seconds yeah, left. And oh, you goodness, can see, I, would not, I didn't yeah, recognize her there. Looks different. You know, she's probably had some work done because I think she's also maybe in her 60s too. But, uh, you know, she looks age appropriate, you know, and maybe that down the road she needs a, a few other things. But I think she actually looks, she looks fairly good. Yeah. And she looks more kind of natural. This is kind of that Diane Keaton look where you're starting to see, yes, she has some lines, she has some fine lines. I know she's smiling, those little crow's foot lines. They're a little subtle things she can do, but you know, I think she's looking pretty good and she probably looks better than she should. She may have something done. A little something, something. Yeah, yeah. She looks uh, like she's channeling her inner Barbara Streisand right yeah, here Yeah, absolutely. Too, yeah, without the nose, right? <laughs> right Dr. Marin, thank you for being here My as pleasure. Always. If you'd like to get a hold of Dr. Vince Marin, you can do that at Marin Aesthetics in Del Mar. The phone number's on your screen right there, 858-638-9800. Once again, 858-638-9800. Okay, Raul, back over to you. In honor of one of my first crushes, Christy Brinkley, back when I was a kid, she is uh, 58 years old. She just turned 58 a couple of weeks ago. In did fact. you just Wikipedia that or did you know that? Be honest. Be honest. I Wikipedia. <laughs> I know you. But I didn't Wikipedia the fact that Christy Brinkley was one of my first crushes. <laughs> <laughs> Chevy Chase, vacation. Remember Same that? joke. Yeah, Dr. Merritt knows. Dr. Merritt knows what I'm talking about.